I grew up thinking I was too fat and I desperately wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be thin, like Posh Spice, like Paris Hilton, like all of the people I would see in magazines, the way fashion and beauty was idolized. And my body doesn't really fit that like uber skinny, very, very low body fat. Like even at my absolute thinnest, where I absolutely 150% dieted, did all the things, all the gym, everything was the lowest body weight that I've ever been. I still was a few dress sizes bigger than them, like probably three dress sizes bigger. Even though I was a plus size model, I also wanted to be thin. So I lived in this weird world where in my home life, I was the biggest of all of my friends, always was, probably by a few dress sizes at least. So when they were all swapping and changing clothes to go on a night out, my clothes would be massive on them and I wouldn't be able to get involved in that and you know that had a bit of an impact on me probably a massive impact and then in my work life I was friends with all these plus size models and I was actually one of the smallest one of the shortest one of the least body fat and often I would be padded on jobs or I would be asked to gain weight by the time the job came round, or sometimes I would miss out on a big campaign because I wasn't quite big enough. So I basically internalized both of those realities to there's something wrong with my body weight and it needs to change for me to be loved and for me to be happy and for me to be healthy even. Actually, now looking back, that, that was not the truth at all. That was my truth. I'd added that truth to that reality, but it wasn't the truth, whatever the truth is. The truth is just whatever I make it. So what changed for me? What changed was I quit. (laughs) Basically, I went and educated myself in natural health. That was a big, 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 big thing for me because I learned about emotional eating. I learned about essentially covering things up with food and food for me feels or or felt I'm gonna say like unconditional love it's like the love I never had the love I always craved the love I always wanted the love that is always there for me anytime anywhere and that's the feeling I get when I used to binge eat so personally I used to eat really healthy in public And then I would binge eat on the way home. And I used to think, what am I doing? I'm not hungry. It's not even something I like. But then the feeling was like unconditional love. And that's what I really wanted. And I didn't feel I had, even though I absolutely was unconditionally loved by so many people. I knew that, but I didn't feel it. I couldn't receive it. And I didn't have access then to the infinite well of unconditional love that lies within every person, including you. And I didn't have the tools to tap into it then, but then I did. (laughs) So I cleared absolutely everything, got rid of everything in my life that wasn't serving me, which was everything pretty much that everything I could clear without dying. I cleared, cleared all men. I went vegan. I cleared all alcohol, all friends I used to party with. I moved countries back to England from New York. I quit my job. I just literally couldn't do that life anymore. And I had to quit. And in that time, I was in a very similar time to what I'm in now, which is purity phase, which is exactly where I'm at right now. I am literally, I do not want anything in my body that isn't organic. I do not want anything in my field that isn't pure. What I now believe is if I'm out of alignment, historically, I will gain fat. I will hold on to fat in my body. I will become a higher number on the scales. Not that I really weigh myself. I will go up a dress size or two in clothes. So personally, my level of self-love doesn't really alter, (laughs) which is kind of weird to say. I, I look at myself with like I'm an oil painting in all phases, in all stages. And when I'm going through something difficult or I'm out of alignment, 
I will gain fat or I do gain fat or historically I have gained fat on my body in on around up over the body and yeah I I actually look at myself with so much compassion I'm like you're going through so much right now well done good for you let me support you let me nourish you what do you need I can see what's happening just like a mother would talk to a child so another point here that I just want to bring in is about buying clothes to fit us and not trying to fit the clothes because we are cyclical seasonal beings and we are actually going to shift and change we are going to evolve like maybe we're going to have a baby and be pregnant and grow that way. Or maybe we're going to be sick, hopefully not, and lose weight that way or gain weight that way. Imagine your best friend going through a tough time or having loads of fun and gaining weight and gaining fat. And imagine them coming to you and being like, I can't fit in my clothes. And you saying, you're not having any new clothes until you can fit back in that size. And I'm not going to buy new clothes. I'm not going to prioritize my money spending on you. And neither should you. And you have to just wear things you don't like or don't fit until you do it. How horrible would that feel? That to me would be like the least effective thing for making me lose weight. I would probably gain weight if someone treated me that way. Ultimately, I say every single time we don't make our body fit the clothes. That's my personal self-lover's opinion. People will think about your body what you think about your body. Like, let that actually land for a moment. Anyone could have said a comment, a negative comment about their weight, about their body. And ultimately, this is just mirroring back what they think about themselves. It's really that simple. So the world is your mirror in more ways than one. And this is one of them. Did you know that nine out of 10 women are unhappy with their body? That is a shocking statistic. And, you know, actually loving your body and having self love and loving yourself in a fatter body is actually quite a rebellious act. It's rebelling against the whole system, it's rebelling against the system of diet culture, it's rebelling against like patriarchal stuff of the if women are fat, they're valueless or they're worthless. And, you know, it's also rebelling against just the stigma and the weirdness that people have if you hold more stuff on your body, in your cells. If your cells store more of something than other people's do, then you're less worth. No, let's rebel against that. (laughs) That's not how it works. We're all born worthy. Fat doesn't have to be a swear word. It doesn't have to be a derogatory term. It can be neutral. So the choice is really yours. Do you want to live in a reality where your love for yourself is conditional, i.e. when I lose this much weight, then I'll love myself. Or when I fit into that pair of jeans, then I'll love myself. Or when I look a certain way, then I'll love myself. Or when I'm with a certain guy, I'll love myself. Or when I figure out a gym routine, I love myself. Or when my bank account has a certain amount of zeros on the end, then I love myself. Or do you choose to be a rebel and love yourself unconditionally through all the waves, through all the hardship, through all the challenges, through all the cellulite, through all the failures, through all the mess, through all the unlucky losses, through heartache, do you choose to love yourself unconditionally? Because ultimately, that is a choice. And my friend, that is self-love. That is self-love right there. Not just being with yourself when you're your 
most healthy, slimmest, tan, toned, you know, all the things. Not that. No, that is not self-love. That is not self-love. Self-love is when it all falls down and you still get to be your number one cheerleader. You still treat yourself with the utmost respect. You absolutely lash on the love thicker than ever when you're struggling. That is a reality that I wish to. And remember, with self-love, anything is possible. It doesn't mean you can't make some tweaks. It doesn't mean you have to just let yourself go and eat burgers. No, that's not self-love. You can eat burgers and be in self-love. Um, but yes, you can make tweaks and you can come into harmony with yourself and you can come into alignment. And you know what? This is all the self-love journey. This is why it's a journey and not a destination. So I hope this has inspired you in some way that loving yourself in a fatter body, it's actually irrelevant. <laughs> it was never about the fat because let's be honest, too fat for who? It's only ever for yourself. Oh, 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 oh,